Hello everyone, we're back. Legends of Wild Mount. Some announcements before we begin, however. Color change is our charity of choice. You can check it out in all of our VOD links. You can click, donate if you can. Money's tight right now during a pandemic for some people, but if you can, help out. It's great, it's a really great charity. They do a lot of great things for marginalized uh, communities, specifically people of color. Uh, we also have a Patreon, uh, and for the $3 tier every month, you can get supplemental content for your D and D campaigns, and three dollars a month isn't really a big ask. Um, so you can get a lot of fun, free stuff to toss into your D and D campaigns. Uh, this month is a domain of dread that I made up. Next month, I'm releasing a bunch of stat blocks for monsters that have been on the channel since the beginning. So why not? Uh, July eighth. Let me look at my calendar right here. July eighth. Uh, we're premiering our next Thursday night game, our follow-up to Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. July 8th, is that the right date? Yes. Uh, that's taking place in the Shadowfell. So that's that. Uh, our next follow-up game for Soldiers of the Lich Queen is being planned for August, but that is not a concrete starting date so stay tuned for that uh, and our Ravenloft campaign that we're rebooting is also coming back in July at some point but I don't know when huzzah gotta cast one more person though for that game uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. that's everything I believe <clears throat> so last we left off also thank you to everyone who's been listening on the podcast so it's beginning to get some pretty good numbers. Um, so that's nice. Um, last we left off, you all exited the temples underneath Bazozan. And long story short, spent some time in a local inn known as the Ruddy Poon. Uh, and just spent some time there, hung out, gambled, and caught the attention of a leader of a sort of crime syndicate the leader's name was only revealed as the twin snakes you all decided to go have a meeting with this twin snakes and as you all left for said meeting lindak departed ways with the party taking an army or small group of aurora watch soldiers to go down into these temples to deal with that strange slumbering threat and the voidite that you all had seen down there previously. Upon parting ways, Ozian also left the doppelganger that had been with you all, and Enoch, Gravel, Talendra, and Ornorian made their way to the southern gates of Bazozan to where this hideout was rumored to be currently occupied. As this crime leader didn't really stay in a settlement for far too long, kind of wandered. Upon arriving, Ornorian was kind of drunk, so the party left him outside with an axe beak for company. And you all entered into the base and were met with a figure draped nonchalantly in a throne made up of writhing snakes, held aloft by what appeared to be magic. The figure had six heads, each resembling a cobra, with slender necks down to a slender and muscular body. The figure was wearing a set of flowing white robes with gold strands and a sash of gold filigree. They had long slender arms that ended in hooked claws on each finger, were ostentatious colored rings. Wrapped around the chair, and that's not true, slithering around the room were hundreds of smaller snakes, most of which weren't, didn't seem harmful, um, with a massive albino anaconda coiled around a chandelier on the ceiling. The smaller snakes, kind of as the meeting was progressing, kind of slithered away into cracks in the walls. And I forgot to mention last time, the twin snakes, this person you're looking at with the six snake heads, is ten feet tall. And you were all let into the room and they mentioned that you were, that we should get down to business. Ten feet tall? Yeah, they're just yeah, they're sitting <laughs> ten feet tall. Uh, and <laughs> as um they're just sitting in the chair and they go so business then 
I was told that I should come here to see you, that you might be interested in seeing me. I don't really know much about whatever it is you do here, well, but I didn't want to offend. My associate here, gestures to the drow guarding the door, told me of your finesse and your sleight of hand. So, I thought we could enter into an agreement. I need something stolen from the city of Zadash. I feel I should warn you. Um, warn I do me. have good... No, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying to threaten you. I'm trying to tell you that I do have good sleight of hand, and I am dexterous with my fingers, but I'm not a thief. I, I'm a, I'm a musician. I'm a violin player. I'm not, I don't have any thieving skills, if that's what you're looking for. Interesting. Regardless, I want you to break into the home of Wyatt Fidar the Starosta of Zadash, and steal a very valuable artifact. A black iron mask that covers a person's whole head and cannot be removed. And once this mask is placed, the individual can only ever speak the truth. And that would be very detrimental to if it, that mask fell into the wrong hands. It would be. Um, this person who owns this home, what did you say the, the title was of this person? Starosta. They are the leader of Zadash. The head honcho. The crown appointed leader of the town, city. Um, all right, um, wh wh why is it you want the, these, uh, perhaps I shouldn't, uh, try. you have your reasons, you, but, You hear um, gravel just kind of like, <laughs> just like, <laughs> And I will know if the job has been completed or not. I have eyes and ears everywhere. Do you accept? Should you need more incentive, I can elaborate. Is this a... Is this an offer I can refuse? That is up to you. Oh, I suppose I need you to elaborate. As a bonus incentive for completing this job, I will pay 1,200 gold and through my connections and looks right at gravel scrub any mention of your names from myriad documents and ledgers uh and i you, sort of look over to <clears throat> gravel and <laughs> they, kind of, they kind of start like doing this with their fingers and if you get caught on the job however no witnesses Kill anyone who sees you, or catches you. <clears throat> uh, a fair number of us are skilled with uh, disguises. Is it permitted? As long as people... If pe Yes, the only thing that I would need done is if nothing can get back to me and again if you're spotted the people who spotted you need to be dealt with regardless of disguise or not why um why come to us and not someone you already have in your roster well, that's is pretty, this a particularly dangerous well that's pretty pretty uh, well, yes, and I don't want to use someone from my roster in case it comes back to me. But also, I don't really care about your well-being. 
In case you do get captured and executed, I generally don't care. Uh, so this is me just covering bases. Uh, you obviously know I have a bit of history. Um, you said if we're caught or seen by anybody, you kill, have to kill them. them. Yes. But you've also said you've got pretty good eyes on us. Of course. If we see the people that are watching us that are from you, we would have to kill them, yes? Oh, no. How do we know that they're You'll yours? be able to differentiate, and most likely, you will not see them. All right. Oh, and, uh... If push comes to shove, you might need to kill the leader of Zadash as well. I, I mean, I don't mean to speak for everyone else in the group, but we're not... We're not murderers. I mean, we're not assassins. Like, if this is an assassination, I'd like it if you were up front with it, with us about that. It's only an assassination if they get in the way. Is anyone currently wearing this mask? No. Okay. Do you know where in the in the house the mask is kept? No. The house is in the Tri Spire district of Zadash. It's the noble district. How we guys we've been there. That place sucks. You guys haven't it's like been swarming. You guys the haven't been. Then. You guys haven't been to Zadash. You're thinking oh, of Rex and Trum. Sorry, thanks, Justin. <clears throat> My bad. Also, illusion magic doesn't work in that district. There are wards in place that automatically dispel it. Uh, specifically that, or who, who other sources of magic too. Who knows? My sources have only told me illusionary magic. You don't have to take the job, however, if you're not feeling up to it. And if we, if we refuse it, we'll be free to go. You're not going to I'll come find, after us. I'll find a use for you elsewhere. I I I'm not a fan of these games, I must say. Ah, I found the rest of my speech. <laughs> the mask would most likely be in the Starasta's personal quarters under lock and key. Find the home, break in, and take it. If you are seen by the Starosta or anyone else, even an innocent, a commoner, they must be dispatched. His house is in the silken terrace of the Tri Spire, a beautiful manor with an emerald green roof and white stone walls, and there's a bit of a garden out front. Only those of a very specific visual presentation and purpose are allowed entry into this district. I advise finding clothes that nobles would wear. Disguises and illusions will not help you here. Your cover? You're looking to buy a home and only the silken terrace suits your needs. There shouldn't be much trouble finding noble garments. Uh, but, um... So, we're, we're essentially trying to make it seem like, uh, this mask just disappeared out of thin air. Yes, like, yes. or that it was lost in some fashion. Yes, and if possible, frame another organization for it. 
uh, what is the timeline um, that you want this done within? Well, let's see. It'll take you quite a good amount of time to get to Zadash from here. I say a month. Any more, any day more than that, I will personally come find you all or find the people you care about most. I believe a friend of yours just went down into the temples, correct? Yeah, good luck finding that. It's a hellhole. Do you want to send people down there? I don't know about that. Um, perhaps we could have a moment to discuss? You cannot leave the room, but yes. Alright, so I probably should have mentioned it earlier, guys. I mean, it's kind of difficult to bring up in this situation, but uh, we already asked too many questions about the contract, so we kind of have to take it. Okay. Um, damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I kind of figured it wasn't an option anyway. Much. Yeah. Um, right, okay. Is, is what he's offering, does it seem, does it seem fair to you? 1,200 gold for <laughs> a mask that, I mean, arguably we couldn't really find a use for. I mean, it doesn't have too much utility for us, so. And I mean, we just get, what, 1,200 gold? Which is, I mean, divide three ways, that's 400 gold each. I mean, right, that's a good I was... amount of gold. Well, probably four because of um, Onorian. Oh, right, Onorian. Yeah, yeah. So 300 gold each. Right. That does seem good. But, I mean, if, if it is how it... If the situation is what it looks like, we can only send in one of us or two of us. We can't go in as a party. That's too many means of Too many potential accidents. That's that's very true. Um, I, I, you know, I have a certain background. I'm probably the best suited to it to something like this. I think for now we have to accept. Um, but when we get there, we're gonna need to find out a lot more about this Wyatt person. All right. It seems like we don't have much of an option anyway. Well, I mean, it's gonna... That's the thing, the timetable. I don't know if we can get back to Rosanna, take care of... And who knows what's gonna happen with this beacon. What if we're gonna get another time-sensitive uh, objective? I mean, who knows? Maybe this... We don't know if what's going on with the beacon is something that... That's true. Perhaps we could barter for more time. I think that might be something we might need to do, yeah. We're going to need more time. All right. Are you um, done? We are interested in this offer, although we are concerned about the time frame. That's unfortunate. You don't suppose that no. it is a very far it is very far from here. I'm sure you know you'll this. make do. You really can't stretch it even a little bit. I could, but we don't know each other that well. Think of this as the beginnings of a relationship. Trust needs to be earned. Uh, just so we're clear, this isn't the beginning of a relationship, this is an end of a relationship. Oh, no it's not. You do this job for me, we are going to be a little in a business of sorts. Especially if I expunge some records. You don't want the myriad tracking you, do you? Uh, well, I mean, I guess if... You must have some connections, given that, uh... 
probably need a permit for that kind of exotic pet. And he looks up at the... At the S snake. Snaps through fingers and the snake disappears and then re-snaps and the snake reappears. Or it's just a familiar of sorts. Well, it seems we don't have a lot of options. Excellent. And then speaks in a language to the drow. Excellent. Not excellent. <laughs> the drow approaches and conjures, pulls a, pulls a contract out of their clothes. And a quill with a very sharp point. And it, the drow says, hold out your fingers. Listen, I, I've been through this stuff before, all right? This, we, I... I mm. hold out your fingers. This is really necessary. Yes. I mean, we don't have a lot of options. What we else have... are we going to do? Well, we have to sign a contract. <sighs> I mean, you can so read it over. It. You can read it over if you'd like. Yeah. I would like oh, that yeah. very much. <laughs> okay. It says, "I hereby promise that I will complete the job." Essentially, the the. the the basic like parameters are I acknowledge that I will complete the job in the specified amount of time no no later etc etc I also acknowledge that I will make sure no witnesses walk away if we are seen basically meaning kill anyone who sees you do uh, taking part in this job <clears throat> uh, yeah that's basically the only two stipulations Oh, and that no word must come back to the Copper Scales, which is the name of the criminal organization. Uh, if any word does come back about this job from outside sources, we acknowledge that we will probably be tracked down and dealt with. Mm. Um, I have a sort of random question, Justin. Yep. How far is Dia's Dia stock from Zadash? Uh, I'll tell you in one second. Okay. <laughs> I have it on the map. I'm just not sure how many. Yeah, because you have your teleportation days. circle. So, yeah. yeah. All righty. That is Empire territory. They're not super like they're not like a, they're not across the whatever. Uh. That seems like a lot, but. Uh, this map is telling me 208 miles. So that sure. would be about eight days of travel. Eight days of travel, okay. It was at least doable. <laughs> um. And I will contact you once the job's done. I will know. Yes or no? Sign the contracts if it's a yes. My associate will need to prick your finger and sign, and you must sign the contract with your blood. Why? I need to keep my eyes on you. No, no but what's that mean? It means what it means. No, but what, why blood? It's a requirement. Of keeping my eye on you. And if we don't sign, if we refuse? That's your choosing. I'll find use for you elsewhere. Will you allow us to leave? In a sense. <laughs> um... I want to I want to do a message to um uh Does that God, have somatic I... components? I believe it does. Oh, soon. Somatic component. Oh, is that like physical? Yep. Like hand gestures. Yeah. Okay. Does it say it was vocal? <laughs> yeah, if it says vocal components then What's the point well, the, of that? The, the okay, then I won't do that. Well, I the vocal component of message is the part that's only like oh, listenable okay. 
to like okay, the vocal, vocal, component. vocal, awesome vocal components in spells are audible because you still have to perform something vocal as you're moving your hands yeah. around. Okay. Right. Okay. I know. I won't do it if it's going to be like super obvious. All right. Any, regardless, even if that wasn't the case, the somatic stuff with you moving your hands to cast a spell would be noticeable. Yeah. 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 No, I, I get that. Um. I, I kind of I. I want to look over to Grav and see, kind of like see how he's taking this. Like, you see his eyes kind of glazed over. He's he's on autopilot. This is, you can tell he's been through this like more times than he'd like to have been through this, and he's just kind of like, oh, this bullshit again. He's not happy, but he's not. He's, not, he's like, not angry, he's just depressed and he's given in, kind of. He's just like, well, this is our, my fucking lot. <laughs> I'm stuck. Right. I, I want to stay freelance. <laughs> and he can't. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, I guess... Do, do we all have to sign or just, just me? Oh, you all have to sign. I sort of look over to make sure, see if anyone's gonna stop me. <laughs> no, and I sort of okay. take the quill. The, you, you're not allowed to take the quill. The drow takes the oh, quill I... and sinks it into the prick, in, into the tip of your finger. <sighs> Sign your name. Your actual name. I sign my real name. Okay. They wave their hand, and the blood is cleaned off the quill, and they hand it to whoever's next. Enoch or Gravel? Gravel will go. Stabs it into your finger and hands you the quill. Ow. And he writes it. Do you write Gravel? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Cleans the quill off, hands it to Enoch. Pokes it, and then in giant he writes his name. Okay. The drow takes the the contract, <clears throat> reads it over, the signed names. Twin snakes nods, and the contract is engulfed in flame and disappears. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to be able to? Uh, show us what this thing looks like in either in drawn image or magical image. Sure. Do I have the ability to do so? I do not. Well, I can describe it. It is a mask of black iron that conceals the entire head and is clasped around the back. Uh, will you permit me to do a minor illusion to see if I, my, the image in my head is close to what you're thinking? Sure. Yeah, I'll do minor illusion. How's this? Sort of what I imagine it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what it looks like. Sort of. All right. Oh, that reminds me. The friend you left outside, they cannot accompany you on this job. Right, well, um, we will make sure he's not involved. Then. Wonderful. Is that all? It is, unless there's anything you would like to say or do. Uh, do any of the people that you have under you, are they able to reproduce similar effects, like, um, to make people tell the truth or make it so they can't tell a lie? Yes. Can I see how that spell looks? No. It's kind of a... I have a thing I can do that would be very useful. I could probably make a duplicate of the mask and 
make it look like tilts their head a little bit uh no that's fine i could make it look like it has the same magical properties so that the mask never even left his place you put in a fake well kind of my thing i said i wanted you to make it seem like another organization stole it mm. politics and i think the myriad's a good choice Anything else? You don't have to take. We can rescind the contract if you're not. I somehow willing. doubt that. Oh, I'm a very negotiable person. If you're not willing to rescind the contract we just signed, you'd really allow that. I, I of course, don't. I, could, I have. I could have uses for you elsewhere at some other time. You know. I know that we've just taken a lot of your time, but and then look at Talindra and look at Enoch. Maybe we should just get the next one down the road because this one is definitely not our specialty. I mean, killing people like people that just happen to I mean, if we go into an oh. alleyway at the wrong time, some little kid could see us and we'd have to kill him. That's correct. Like, that that's not our speed we it, we it just, isn't but we, we did just sign take the next thing we just signed with our blood you mean is that surely that was magical oh i can cancel any contract i make and they mutter something in a language i don't think any of you speak and they reform the contract in their hand i can cancel it right now but with this cancellation i will ensure you are used elsewhere I mean, either one way or another, but at least you know where our hard lines are. And I'll know where you are, because I'll be involved in that process. Yeah, well, if I know anything about you groups, they always know what they want to know, so. Are you sure this is what you all want, to nullify the contract and be put elsewhere for the time being? What do you mean by put elsewhere? Is that code for something because we got places to be I said I'll have use for you elsewhere and elsewhere you will be I... wait elsewhere we will be yes so I can like, keep are an, you so going I can to keep have us travel somewhere yes where because we have a different place to be we have to You've, get to Rasana you have asked a lot of questions about my organization and my methods you can continue to pry if you'd like. We just want to know about how this is going to affect us. We don't really care, honestly. The choices you make you. now will determine how it affects you. Well, yes, clearly. We're asking for information about what you want from us. Tillindra, he's dancing around this stuff. He's, he's going to lock us up somewhere if we don't do this. And they kind of smile. He's yes. dancing around it, yeah. So we have to take it. I have a place I could lock you away. Yeah. So, yeah. Use, oh. use code words. All right. Yeah, we'll take the goddamn contract. All right. Remember, any innocent you see. Yeah, sure. I will know if you didn't do it. Yeah, and this fine. contract is incredibly binding. And their eyes f kind of sparkle a little red for a second and go back to normal. All right. Well. And they kind of shake their head like that wasn't meant to happen just now. Are we free to leave now then? Unless someone else has any questions. Yes, you're free to leave if no one has any questions. All right, show them the door. And the drow unlocks the door and gestures for you all to step outside. All right, step outside, I guess. All right, and the door locks behind you. And you see Ornorian outside, still playing with the axe beak. 
All right, time to go to bed. We got places to go tomorrow. All right, fair enough. How'd it go? About the worst possible way. All right. Let's go back to the inn. Alrighty. Man, you know, Talindra, I honestly had hoped that, you know, there would be some criminal organization that wasn't as bloodthirsty as the Myriad. Well, I don't think uh, criminal organizations often draw the sort of people who would not... <laughs> who who would be honest and you know respect rules and things like that? I mean, there's a difference between honesty and rebellion, and true, just killing people because they saw you. There are other ways to get people to either not think they saw what they saw or change their mind on something. Bribes work very well. Wait, y'all didn't accept the job without my consent, right? Who's consent? Who's talking? Ornorian. I didn't accept the job for you. Right, but I'm traveling with you also technically. I've been wrapped up into it now, yes? You're not involved in this, don't don't worry. Yeah, we had to sign a contract, you didn't, so don't worry about it. Right. <laughs> the gravel, I say, should we be telling him? Wouldn't that technically mean he's, you know... We haven't told him any innocent. details, so he's safe. All right, well, let's be careful what we tell people. Yeah. All right. You can easily find your way back at that weird little tavern. Oh. Enoch, you've been fairly quiet. <laughs> I'm sorry to drag you into all this. Honestly, I am. I'm gonna go to bed. And he goes up. Alright. Oh, God. Uh, Talendra, you shouldn't feel bad. Uh, well, I do feel bad. I read, I read the situation uh, poorly. I don't know. Part of me feels like we should have just been on the run from him. No, I mean, I think your instincts were right. I think he would have probably... He didn't seem like the type to let things go. Over Talking a, quietly, by the way. <laughs> over a gambling... Over a gambling... Uh, you weren't even indebted. It's just you happened to win at gambling. That's pretty, well, pretty far, right? That means like he's got to definitely know more about us than what he's leading on. It did seem odd. I mean, I know I'm, I know I'm good at, you know, at sight of hand, but I, it did yeah. seem very odd. Yes. Maybe word about us has been getting around. He never used our I name though, Quatoriactum. So. No, nor any of our personal names. You all feel a slight I... tingle, and I need everyone to make wisdom saves. This isn't a, a <laughs> charm or anything, is it? No. Uh, okay. My, uh, I believe my, um, uh, what's my thing called? Non-detection? Yeah, yeah, weird that it's not working for this purpose. The only purpose it's made for? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know what it is. I don't exactly. know what it is. You don't it's like probably it. the contract. Totally cool. Totally cool. Um, I give rolled a six. Okay. <laughs> I did a twenty-three, a natural twenty, so a twenty-three total. Okay. I think gravel froze. Yeah. No. Well, regardless, what anybody rolled, you just feel a, a weird tingle at the back of your skull. But gravel did roll a twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, you just feel a weird tingle at the base of your skull, and that's it. <sighs> oh, and. Uh, you all need to minus 10 from your roll, actually. So 13. Okay. I roll a negative... Mm -hmm. <laughs> negative 4. Excellent. That's all. 
minus 10 really to, yeah. to the rule we just did yeah. wow jeez okay oh no travel's oh, no. <laughs> gone yeah all right well uh enoch's up in the he's sleeping right he's in his room yeah. Okay. Well, this inn has no rooms. This inn is all open concept. Everyone's sleeping in the same room. It's like a hostel. Oh, yeah. Then he has at the bed that he was at in his room. <laughs> okay. But he's laying there. He's not asleep. You know? All right. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to, you know, to gravel, I'll say, well, I'm going to go to bed. And then I'm going to go up and. and Go to just go to sleep myself. All righty. Uh, everyone gets one of its whole long rest. Yay. Yay. Okay. All right, I'll start heading down for breakfast. Yes. All right. Wait right. for people to come down. All right, Fornorian comes down, no longer drunk. I'll How assume... are you this morning? Yeah. I'm all right. We need to decide what we're where we're headed now, I suppose. Well, I can't. I cannot be part of these discussions currently. I don't want to be, mm. you know. <laughs> targeted right yes that's, that's very true hmm. um, do you where, where are you have I asked you where you, oh yes you you've been asleep a long time yes. you don't have any idea where where you would like to be now not particularly no when you were alive, um, where were you? Where were you from? Um, I had it here, <laughs> somewhere. Yep, I came from uh, Euralis in the Graying Wildlands. Is that in Zorhas? Uh, no, it's in the Graying Wildlands. Is that where no, I'm sorry, going? I was asking that. I'm trying to find that on the map. <laughs> it's north. Oh, that's, okay. that's a. Is that where we uh that big forest that Basically, we were in? Over here. Oh right, yes. Mm. The big the big forest that we were at. Uh, with the. I don't know what forest you're talking about, but where the to the north? There's like uh mountains to the south, big forest. There was a place called Monomonom in the center. Never heard of Monomenon, but... Monomenir. Nope. Malaysmere? Oh, yeah, that one. Don't yeah, that's, the, that's in the Grey Wildlands, but I'm from north of that. Oh, we didn't go that far. I'm where it's cold. <sighs> oh, it's pretty cold. We got swept on a river, brought out to the ocean. There was this big yeah, alligator right. thing. Wow. It, yeah, it was quite dramatic. That's pretty exciting. It was. Um, no, not really, because I had just become blind at that point, so it oh. wasn't that great. Well, you're not blind now. Well, no, I'm not. It's a very valid point. Hmm. So, what's the pl where are you all planning on going then? Without telling me too much, I suppose. I think we're um, going to Rosanna. We do need to go to Rosanna at some point, don't we? Gross. Why do you want to go there? Why do we have to go there? <laughs> don't we have a a a dull beacon? Oh yes, that's right. Yes, we we need to talk to them about the beacons. But we have them. Um... Oh. We have a broken thing. We mm -hmm. need fixed. I know what beacons are. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we have, we have one. It's broken. We need to fix it. Then we need to tell the queen that we found the the bright queen. Mm -hmm. She yes. was she was queen when I was hopping around. So she's really oh, not that. Right. She's not bright. She's kind of she's kind of like 
normal. No, she's called like... the she's called the Bright Queen though. Why? I don't Is know. Reason for that? That's what she's called. Maybe because the, 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 I don't know. Probably something to do with the beacons because they're bright. I'd imagine. Maybe oh. I don't know. Oh, anyway, she um, she wanted to know where that. Oh, you didn't see it. Did you see it? The big monster with the purple crystals on it. Yeah, I was there with y'all. That's right. That place is terrible. And your friend Lindak is down there now. Yes. Yeah, I'm not envious of him. That's for sure. Hey, do you have a? Um... Wait, can we get in contact with him? He gave you the stone, oh. didn't he? Yeah, but did Varen give the stone to? Oh, uh, I don't imagine that quickly. Yeah, no. I don't have a way of communicating. Yeah. I don't have a sending spell. I could try to contact him if you want me to, but I feel like it'll probably be too early. Yeah. That is up to you. It's uh, it's like eight a.m. I was thinking in terms of um. His yeah, friend, just let him. Let him. Yeah, just let. Give just him, let. give him a day or two. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. So we head to Rosana. How how long is this uh, from Bazazan to Rosana again? That's pretty long. A few days. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, well, it depends. If we cut through the, he doesn't know all this shit. What's he talking? Yeah, he does. Because this stuff is kind of no. You know, it's the general landscape. Because the the barbed fields weren't a thing when he was around. Um. Well, if we cut through the wastes, that would shave some time off. But I heard you all. You mentioned you all. You did that before, and it yeah, was not a died. great trip. It wasn't trip. pleasant. Uh, I know if we cut through, it's about like 142 miles. But if we hey, walk, do they have like, steeds here? Yeah, moorbounders. Oh, he doesn't know that. Why is he talking? <laughs> I mean, maybe... I imagine so. The soldiers need mounts, don't they? Yeah, maybe we should, you know, maybe invest uh, in some of those. But if we take the road, it's about 224 miles. So like eight days, a week to get to Rosana if we just use the road. Yeah, I just made a lot of money. So I think we should buy us some steeds. Get some, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we can look around and see what we can find. I'm sure there's some place that's it's not that sort of thing. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. All right, should we head out? I imagine, yeah. Get the show on yep. the road. All right. Without giving me details, how long do you all have for this job? I believe it was a month. Oh, all so, right. That's yeah. not great. We have what to be doing? quick, whatever are we doing, we're doing. What job are we doing the first one? Um, hmm? what, are we what? doing the first one? I thought we weren't doing that one. We are doing that, I believe. <laughs> oh, we, okay. That whole conversation we weren't, we, me. Yeah, you are doing know. that one. You all signed the contract, so you're doing the initial job that was suggested, oh. where if you get caught, you have to kill people who see you. Right. He wouldn't. He wouldn't let us get a. I mean, he would, but we would have been imprisoned. So. Um. So we do have a. We couldn't. So it's it's how sorry how many days to get to Rosanna, Justin? Uh, if you guys cut through the wastes again, that'll cut down your time. Uh, it'll be eight days if you take the road, roughly. Um, okay. I'm, I'll check. I'll double check. So if you cut through the wastes again, like you did the last time you wanted to get through Asana, that would be 140 miles, which would be about five days. <clears throat> uh, and then if you walk all the way around, you're looking at nine days. So cut through five okay. days. If you walk, if you take the road, nine days. Uh, and yeah, there actually are no mounts for sale in Bazazan. Just looked it there, up. There are no mounts in Bazazan. Okay. Nope. Yeah, five days if you cut through the waste to get to Rosana. Nine days if you take the road. Okay. So we're going to be very short in, on time. Um, I I should tell you all. Um, we do have a way of getting to Diastock quickly. Uh, I have a new, I have a spell I haven't used yet, but I should be able to get us quickly to Diastock. 
and then great to to um Jigao. I could also go to Jigao if we needed to come back to Zorhas. So there that is an option. We will be able to get to um we will be able to get there, but it will be quick. It, it will be it'll we'll be short on time for sure. Okay, so are we going around or are we going through? Um, hey, maybe we could see if there's like guards that are going back to Horizonta. Yeah, we, we should um, hang yeah, out. Yeah, we with should them. check that for sure. Um, I think, it, I mean, it's safer to go around. It was not fun going through when we did it previously. All right. Hey, Enoch. Mm hmm. We're going to be back in the Empire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where I need to go isn't by the Empire anymore. It's not. No, it's an island. Right. So even further away. And I'm trying not just... to think about it. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. The Monagerie Coast is an Empire territory, but yes. Sorry, not. I know that that was the next thing on our list once we took the beacon back. Right. I'll just wait more time. I don't want to think about it. Why don't you just say fuck it and not do the job? And then deal with the person if they ever come looking for you. That's yeah, I mean, I, I've done that before. You guys saw how I was. How that ended up. I I mean... I, I doubt, I doubt and I can pull that off twice. I mean, if we put enough distance between us and <laughs> this thing... We don't know how wide his um, his web is, though. We don't. Well, he said everywhere. Could have been lying. That's what he said. Yeah, could have been lying. That's... I, I think it's going to be difficult for us to get away from this, definitely. But it is it is an option if we. We could create bigger issues for him, or it. Once we get to Rosanna, we go to Diastock, make our way to, from Diastock to Zadash, warn this Darosta that some thing is looking for his. I think we should ass. look into this Darosta too. And Ornorian just, just goes, uh, fuck. Well, now I know. So. Uh, oh, sorry. Oops. I didn't know. Was, I didn't know that is my. Us. That is sorry. my bad. We won't tell you. We will. If would you like no, to excuse now. yourself so, from this no. conversation? It's too late now. So give me the details. Oh. All of them? Yeah. Fuck it. All right. We gotta go to Zadash and steal a mask. And if anything, anybody or anything sees us doing it we yeah. have to kill them it doesn't matter if we're in disguises or anything we have to kill anybody that sees us well it, it does sort of because we probably won't be able to use any illusion magic but we can use physical disguises yeah but you still said even if we're seen with disguises we have to kill people yes that's strange yeah hey Ravel, what yeah. if what if we disguise ourselves to look like those people that you don't say the name of. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I have a couple in mind that I know what they look like, but they really don't bother to keep, like, identifying marks on themselves. Like, there's nothing that'll really make them go, oh, we are this group. To so think, haha, the myriad is here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's not like they all have the same tattoo. That would be pretty bad um, as a secretive group. Well, do you have any is contacts it... in this organization? Yeah. Yeah. We we know... We have a... Uh, we know someone. 
but they might not be in the best um the most stable mental state right now and well they they are trying to bring back uh their family that they know is dead undead which like i mean i i know he knows better i mean they're gone <sighs> So well, then they, uh, maybe I, maybe they have information about this other organization in person that we you don't have. Oh yeah, I uh, I know for sure that he does. I um, I I I honestly don't want to bother him. I can honestly, I think it is a bit of a risk for us to get involved with the other organization because we're being watched in all likelihood. Do you yeah, want, uh, this individual, you know, I can scry on them. If you want to know where they are, a hundred percent. See, the thing that I'm worried about is that the other group is scrying on us, and if we like talk too much about this connection that we all know, we're outing, it'd be bad. That's, um, that's a good point. So none of us really know. We also um, and nothing is really safe to do right now. And if they if we get caught scrying on members of a certain organization, then we, that also draws a target on us from them. And then we have two targets on our back. Yeah, I mean we've already got one on our backs from, you know, the other group. Kind of. I mean, it's it was like, just it's me. It's not like they have your but... blood or anything, right? Yeah, they have our blood. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. It's pretty smart. Yeah, it, it, there's something definitely uh, wrong with uh, that group. I'm surprised it can exist so close to Bazazan. Makes me wonder what's going on there. That is a good point, actually. I hadn't considered that. Oh, I was there when your friend Lindak was talking about them, actually, before you all left. That's right, I was at the table. That's right. They're called the Twin Snakes, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Dig up information on the Twin Snakes. And the organization name, if there is one. Oh, yeah, that's the, um, the Copper Scales. Huh. Interesting. You, you know, know why it's, it's called... Oh, it's man. funny because copper is like the least valuable coin so maybe there's like the silver scales maybe there's like a facade and they're not actually as powerful as they're letting on yeah maybe there's a bigger snake maybe the big the platinum scales somewhere. yeah maybe the big uh pale snake that was hanging out was like watching over him or something you know yeah i don't know the way that he did stuff with it Illusion. Part of me thought that, yeah, might be some illusion happening. Don't we just go back to that fucking base and kill this person then? I mean, I think that's probably unwise. I, I mean, he seemed well. We're rested up. We have all of our capabilities. That's true. Well, let me try something thing. before we decide on that. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's a good. I don't know. I now hear me out, guys. Do, the... Can we um actually let's let's shelve this for next time we get like a hut up I think yeah fair enough I'm curious what's their name twin snakes <laughs> I'm gonna scry on them <laughs> I, uh... pulls out um, a... maybe we should like walk away or something pulls out, yeah, I... pulls out a crystal ball Hmm. Yeah, I'll take. I'll make sure that I'm like twenty feet away from him when he's doing this, okay. just in case they've yeah, got. I was like gonna sit at the bar. Uh, I, I'll just kind of like. <laughs> you have heard. You have heard of the on. target, so Twin Snakes has a plus five to this save. Uh, if I can. Natural twenty. If I can. Oh, okay, I was gonna say if I could uh, change it at all. No. It wouldn't have been tested. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, nada. Yeah. 
It failed, mm -hmm. so they don't know I was looking at them. So that's good. Well, they prob they're they probably scrying on us. So. <laughs> Who knows? Anything we say is fair game. Well, they're probably not scry scrying on your friend here because of magic. Just make sure you're, oh, just make well, sure you're popping yeah, that up. Yeah, that's probably make, true. Make sure you pop that up every time you're walking around now. Yeah. Yep. I think I did it twice last night. Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> so yeah, you should, we still feel I forgot. the... Uh... You, so Gravel shouldn't have rolled, but the fact that they now have material of those of you, it's negative 10 to all your rolls in regards to this. Because they have your body material. <laughs> Yep. Yep. We sure do. Yep. Do we still feel the like physical, like the sort of tickle on the back of our neck? Uh, not today. Not yet. Not today. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. All right. Huh. Well, I don't want to kill any innocent people. Just saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather. Me I'd rather kill this person, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, before. Tillinger, would you mind setting up a. A zone. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. You're, like, um, not in the middle of a bar, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I sort of amble out, uh, find a nice little alley or something that seems sure. relatively private. All right. And, Most of the Aurora and... Rush soldiers in town, they seem like their, like, numbers have dwindled a bit. Like, a lot of them are going into the temple. Okay. Interesting. And you can overhear okay. words like, oh, the last patrol, we haven't heard anything from them yet, we should send in backup. That kind of thing. I make note of that. <laughs> the DM had an encounter after the session last week to see how it went, so. <laughs> no! You guys, yeah, but oh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to reveal the outcome. Yeah. Okay. Here's, um, here's my guess. They all died to this invisible stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah, I forgot that was the well, no, They didn't even they didn't... get to the big thing, they just... <laughs> oh, No, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have had to go through the invisible stalker because oh, okay, okay. they, they, they would have gone the opposite gotcha. direction. So they would have just dealt with the uh, <laughs> the weird crab flying crabs with the buzzing droning noises. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, uh, and the uh, and the uh, creature Glibrizu that wasn't dealt with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Bulgura got dropped, and then you all. That's true. Yeah. Um, so I, I find a private place and I put up a okay. put up a hut ritual. All right. Um, and then I kind of wait around, make sure people see where I am. Yeah. Um, and just yeah, just wait for them to come around. Okay. Travel gets in there. Yep. Same. So does yeah. Norian. The axe beak is no I longer here. I don't think. No, I, I believe it disappeared at dawn. Yeah. Oh, and I need to roll to get that charge back, I think, or not. Or I can just get it back. Let me check. I think uh, it's like a... Oh, yeah. Next dawn, they're all back, all my charges. Yep. And the creature lasts for... I think until dawn, but I could be wrong. Yeah, next dawn. So the creature would have vanished in the morning. Yeah. All right, so we're all in the hut. Yeah, so... um. How many people did we see in there, Talindra? Enoch? Uh, oh, um, there was... Drow and the, the drow and the twin snakes. And then there was, was just... like all the snakes and then the anaconda like, on the ceiling. two drow. One drow. Just the two. One drow. Oh, one drow. And the twin snakes. And then all the little snakes that were like slithering into the walls and then the big <laughs> anaconda on the chandelier. Yeah. So, one thing we don't know is how powerful this person might be what kind of skills they might have at their disposal besides blood magic what they business. look what, what they look like uh like um, snake person but with a bunch of heads right. let me pull up my trusty monster manual to see its environments and then we'll see if people some of y'all can make history checks based on where you possibly stumbling across something like that Environments. Ooh, yeah. Gravel. I will let you make a history check. Or a nature check. Uh, I'll do history. Okay. Ten. Ten? They are underdark creature. I'll say a ten succeeds for the purposes of okay. this. Um, 
It's average for yeah, an underdark exactly. creature. For so I would, uh, um, okay. It looked like a Yonti Anathema. Yonti Anathemas are six-headed Yonti. They're usually considered huge creatures, so like 15 feet tall, 20 feet tall, like almost gargantuan. They're massive. This one was 10 feet tall, so maybe a younger Yonti Anathema, not a full-grown one yet. Um, they have the ability to innately cast these cast spells, such as, in the, what you've read, spells that mess with the mind and can shape people into different things, and also really powerful spells, <clears throat> Divine Word, which is bad. Uh, they're very good at resisting magic in these things you've read. Uh, they emit this aura of fear that makes people afraid of any snakes in the vicinity, and they can attack a bunch. Another bunch, but they they have they have a lot of attacks. They're pretty, uh, you know, dangerous. Yeah, um, and, and the fact that it's surrounded by countless snakes and a big boy, probably you, not. You great. would know they're also incredibly perceptive. Yeah, they can hide themselves very well if need be. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and this one's smaller, so it's probably not as deadly as a full-grown one but still could be a threat are we, are, are we dealing with a little kid <laughs> no you're not dealing like, with a little great. kid it's great like a teenager a rebellious teenager so just like... yeah do this for me guys <laughs> all right but yeah that's what you can ascertain do this or i'll kill you i'll put you in the dungeon Ten thousand years dungeon. Like the Star Trek episode that happened. Anyway, Dustin is slowly bumping up the HP. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> what extra hit time? Let me put it in. The, let me put it in the, the two. Um. Uh, all right. Well, I before we go in there, I would like to. Uh, I don't feel comfortable not having myself at my full capabilities. If you haven't noticed, mm. I've been uh, lacking, if you will. What is your uh, deity like? Oh, what do you mean? Like, how can you appease them? She gave me a task. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, and that's the task that we will be avoiding far, far away at the island like we're going to be avoiding it if we don't go down unless we go there right now well I don't think we can go there right Let's now say fuck snakehead is there a way to get to get to this island um how do we how do we get a there a boat maybe yeah you, is that what you, you would take we would need to it makes sense has Enoch mentioned the name of the island yet I feel like you have a couple sessions ago no okay you mentioned it earlier this session, but other than that, it was an island. You didn't say what I island. The name, no. No. So, How? Here, so the way that I'm thinking about it, we can either try to take care of this now, or we can try to take care of it after we deal with Enoch stuff. This beacon isn't going anywhere. I mean, it's kind of inert right now doesn't seem like it's it's really got any juice we might be able to tell the queen give her a message or something that it's just gonna be a little longer yeah and it might be it might be wise you know when we're starting to fight things and stuff because i imagine you all have some people wanting to fight you <laughs> that's what it's looking like. and might it might help to have you know everyone of full capacity that's true no offense but you're a really shitty paladin right now yeah um I know, I'm, um, I've messed up twice. Also, can we, like, get rid of my old party member's skull? Oh. Just talk, toss oh. the toss the box in the ocean or something? Um, I mean, I got it. It's in, it's leaded. I'm worried if we, yeah, if we get rid what, of it I just anywhere. What, yeah, and I wonder what they're, the, what they're fucking up to right now. You know, I mean, we stole all of his clothes and shit. Well, Why don't we, <laughs> um... I I still think we need to go back to to a bright queen. Um, part of me feels that we need to make sure that she is all right. Another part of me, we I think we need to let her know what we've accomplished since 
I imagine she already knows. I think it might be it's, worth... If not, I think... I mean, sorry to interrupt oh, Talendra, but I do think that... I mean... Uh, Lendak has a lot of sources. I mean, I know that there's plenty of people around him that can use the sending spell and pass messages, and there's plenty of people in the watch that can send that message for us if Lindak hasn't already. I, I was Spoiler, about to say has, more or less the same has, thing. But... Um, is, is there a, um, a temple here in Basazan that we've seen? Uh, just the one you came out of. Scary. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, that, yeah. yeah. Oh. Temple. Yeah. The temple's dedicated <laughs> to the demonic princess of hell. Okay. Or the, demo no, the demonic like, princess of the abyss is what those temples are. There's no, like, temple to the beacon to. here? Nope. Okay. Well, that's... Bazazan's a shithole. <laughs> yeah, that's the sense I'm getting. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a soldier outpost. It's really... Yeah, it's a military it's, outpost. There's, yeah, there's, so not, there's not much here. I, I It might be worth... Um, finding someone we can sort of trust and getting them to deal with the beacon <laughs> because we have a lot of things we need to deal with. I don't with. think you should I... hand the beacon off to anybody. I mean, I don't want to. No, I don't. I, I just I, don't know how. We'll... I think it's a bad idea. You're probably right. That's what I'm saying. I... <laughs> like, I was around when the beacons were first starting to happen kind of thing. Sort of. The fact that one has been drained of all of its potential... That might be one of one. Of, you might want that to keep that as close to your chest as possible in case that gets out. All right, so oh, yeah, we hold on we to it for now. Yeah, we won't be talking about the end of a religion. Well, sort of. Isn't we don't need last, to. Is, isn't that the last one? I mean, we don't know. There's plenty of from what we well, heard that they know from of. the yeah yeah from what we heard from the empire. There's they're like in ruin they could be in ruins all over the place in different locations who knows which one's the last one we just know there's there are there used to be a lot yeah okay so we go straight to do stock then um Is that what we're saying that makes sense oh no we're, we're i thought we were gonna okay sorry well we, I we, we were, were talking going... go ahead go Talentra. On. I was just saying, we're going to your island, aren't we? How, how far is your island? Yeah, from? yeah. Show, show us so. on the map. <laughs> okay. Can I see the map? All right. I lay it out on whatever sort of surface we have in here. He takes his hand and he just palms <laughs> the large body of water south of Menagerie Coast. <laughs> yeah. Menagerie Coast. Somewhere yeah. in there. All right. So we have to go to uh, one of the. Places. Oh, it's called. Uh, wait. Bwali. Ah, Bwali. So yeah, that is. I'll ping. I'll ping it on the map. That's no. That's Rumble Cusp. Give me a second. You don't want to go to Rumble Cusp. No, let's go there. You don't want to go to Rumble Cusp. That's a good name. <laughs> it's the bigger one at the south. Isn't that's it? Mighty Nine one. Territory. I think it's this one. Rumble Cusp is where they had Traveler Con. All right, Bwali. There it is. It's the big one. This is yeah. Bwali. Oh, so we'd have oh, to go okay. to probably one of the port towns in the Menagerie Coast, like Nicodronus or Port Zoon, one of those places, and just get a boat charter a boat there. Hey, where's where's Diastock? Can you show me where that is on the map? Right here. <laughs> okay, so we take Diastock. That right? Yeah, that's right. And he traces his fingers down the yeah, big long trail. There's roads that go down there, yeah. What if we just, you know, go that way? I could do that. That's... A long way. <laughs> I'm. Uh, we only have a month. I'm a little bit. Oh fuck the month to... timeline. Are we worried about getting? We're not doing the. Are we not doing that? Nah, fuck that. I think that person's. Uh, that's my so. opinion. I just think that person's putting up a facade. Our goal is to get me back in good graces yeah. and then with, deal with them. my yeah. mistress, and then we could come okay. back and fuck his shit. Up. Yeah, of course. All right. People say that. <gasps> Wait, we're going back to Diastock. I could feed it Bertrand. You could? Oh, wait, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Dia Stock. I wonder what happened. house burned out. That place has been up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, Dia Stock has been dealing with the worms and undead people. 
It's not good. Hmm. Worms. What well, about going back into the worm that walks specifically? We're going back into Empire territory. Oh. Uh. You guys might uh, get to see your old buddy again. Vinlock. <laughs> oh, oh no. yes, right. I'm gonna forget. Don't let me address oh. you. I'll I'll make sure to make a badge that says "Hello, my name is Vinlock Feldspar." I have to admit, I'm also a little bit nervous about going back to Diastock because I was a different. I had a different name when I was in Diastock. Oh, Diastock's fine. <laughs> um, you guys don't have to like. Drow don't have to worry about the identity stuff because there's a piece there's the piece currently going on between the Empire and the Dwen uh, yeah. and Jorha, so it's not Drow are gonna get like attacked for being in the streets. It's not like yeah. that kind of thing. Do you yeah. guys remember the uh the bad jubies we got from the uh from the clerical leader? Nope. At, it wasn't that, yeah. it wasn't that. I, I do remember that for sure. That's yeah. No, kind of she was I'm really good. And Annalise Del Delwar. Maybe she was just very, you know, tough. I didn't like the other guy. What she got, uh, yeah, she was a little, um, uh... Oh, yeah, Dieter. I don't One know. of the Dieters that we met. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of six. <laughs> yeah, the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> there was Dieter, the time to, Starosas. Time to increase there was the Dieter, the... the one... Wait, what was his name? I don't have his name written down. Dieter McGinnis was the Starosta. Of oh, Dieter Stark, yeah. Uh, there was the guard Dieter. Dieter. Uh -huh. And there was the blacksmith Dieter. Oh, the blacksmith, that's right. Yeah. Maybe it's just a common name. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's very uh, common I mean, in Dieter Stark. It, it's, a, uh, it's a celebrity name, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, sure. So. All right. So, Dieter Stark, all right. And then head down through. We could get mounts. How about we okay. get mounts or steeds? Have you ever had mounts before? There are a lot to take mm -hmm. care of. Yeah, we don't have enough mm -hmm. gold for that. Um, I just made 150 gold on my weapon. I have plenty of money to afford a steed. Oh, yeah. That weapon that was worth... 150 gold. 4,000. Anorian, as I said. <laughs> no, it's more than that. Right. I think you got Look, ripped, we, think you got ripped I, off, but that's okay. What they say? What do they say in um, the Empire? Karma is a bitch. I think they say that everywhere. Well, it's fitting. Mm -hmm. I don't know who Karma is, but maybe she'll come and you know be a bitch. Sure. But I say we mm -hmm. invest. I don't want to walk. I, we did enough walking. Also, we lost steeds earlier, or we lost the oh, next did, yeah. steeds. Yeah, steeds are... Steeds have a very uh, bad uh, sort of track record in D&D &D campaigns. Yeah, I, well, They're hard to maintain. You know, while we're in Diastock, I mean, how long did it take for Gravel to get his bicycle made? Oh, probably like eight work weeks. That's a, that's a general weeks? baseline oh, of okay. crafting. All right. Damn. All right. Yeah. And then, I'd be and like, the cost guys, let's just it. get bikes, or let's see if uh, let's see if they have any for sale. Let me see. <laughs> Maybe if crafting an item. Determine how many work weeks it takes to create an item. Divide its gold piece cost by fifty. Who knows? Maybe they. Maybe they've got some uh, I'd say like, idea stock yeah, after I'd say, I drove through. I imagine yeah. there are plenty of people. I'd say like curious about. I'd it. say like two to four work weeks. So so where's your bike me, or your doohickey? Oh, it's folded up. It's in my pack. Wait, what happened to? There's a lot of stuff that we can do back in the Empire. I think we just need to focus. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, so we are going to. Yes, just dog. keep holding on to this uh, errant beacon, right? For the best. Inert, inert beacon, or just hang on to it, not really take it back to Rosanna. I think that's best. What if anything um, happens to us? <laughs> we don't have anything to worry about. Yeah. I mean, if something happens to us, we're dead and we're, d we're done. That's yeah. it. Yeah, but the, the beacon, I'm thinking of the beacon. 
Well, then it's someone else's problem. I suppose. Yeah, we just gotta. I guess there's no one else we can give it to. We won't be around to care about it if we're dead. That's that's a good point, actually. Yeah, of course. (laughs) Right. So. I I'm not familiar uh, with with this area. What is the best way? Will we go from Nicodronus to Nicodronus or Port soon? Would be either or. Oh, or me and Bertrand went that way, or we went somewhere. So when Bertrand found me, oh, and he found me on the other side in some like swampland stuff. Somebody called you it. You can also go to Port Tamale. Yeah, we we passed up some like cities on you, the coast. Yeah, you passed all through that city. area. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was like uh, two cities that we went through, and then we went up through this like gorge. And then we went to Deastar. Right. Okay. So. Hey, maybe Bertrand is making uh, you know, maybe he could make a trip to, you know, that coast, and we could just like. Hitch a, hitch a ride. Yeah. Catch a, catch a ride. You know. No? Okay. I feel bad because uh, his house got burned down because of us. Um, it so... wasn't because of us. Well, I mean, we... Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it was kind yeah. of because of me. Uh, you know, I got... That old man uh, said something about a meeting and I didn't go to it and yeah, you shouldn't burn down people's houses. Wait, you had a meeting? You don't, yeah, you don't, you don't remember? Anything. Oh, no, yeah. You never I went on a... About a, meeting. a long time ago. <laughs> so, before we went to the warehouse, well, actually, I was going to the warehouse, and y'all followed me. And that did a really bad job of hiding. Then we got to the cauldron. Yep. Before all that, someone stopped me on the street and said, yep. you know, go to Burgeon's house. And I was like, no, not yet. Yep. And then we did all that. Then whenever we, I went to Bertrand's house, we saw that it was on fire. I yep. rescued him. Yep. Before he died, or, well, he didn't die, but before he could die, you don't remember all that gravel? No, I mean you never told us that there was a meeting. Oh, I, I think it was a warning, or it was a trap. I think because uh. it was before the fire started. Well, says so you and all was... like getting the ire of the seedy underbellies. Yeah, it was this cult for the worm that walks. I don't know. Everybody wants... I don't know. I, 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 a part of me thinks that uh, we work pretty well together. Uh, I mean... Maybe too well. We perk, Yeah, I think we kind of stand out and people want to take advantage of our abilities. That makes the most sense. Uh, that is true. So... With the plan for today is to go to Diastock and try to get some supplies to make our way to the coast and get some passage on a ship to the island. Correct? Yeah. I believe so, yes. All right. And we'll see what happens with the uh, with these snake guys when it happens. Yep. Yes, yes, we I've will. Dealt, I've dealt with worse things than snakes. Maybe um, maybe someone could write, you know, Lindak a note saying to watch out, just in case. How would you get the note to him? Oh, we don't, he doesn't know anything about this. Well, the guy it? definitely, the snake dude definitely said that he had, he would come after people that we love, and he specifically said oh. he has a person that went inside the mountain, so. Oh, that's true, he did say that. Pretty sure he knows. Right. But would this person right. and his singular friend be able to tackle the temple? You know, Lundak is very strong. He can make his shadow do really crazy things. Um, so yes, I do have complete confidence in Lundak's abilities. We probably could have taken it as a group while we were down there. I meant the snake. Actually, probably. They have a whole army here, don't they? I assume there are other members. Of the uh, watchful. Yeah, those guys hold off demons. Anyway. No, I meant like I meant like the snake person that you. What if they said if they're going after your friend Lindak, would they even be able to tackle the temple by themselves with that drow they were with? Oh, like just a snake oh, and the drow going by themselves? That's probably what I, not. That's no. what I meant. Yeah, that was probably just a 
Well, that's what I was saying, Maybe is they probably just... have other people. Or not. Or not. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, I could do something really, really just to fuck with them, if you want. They would I mean, never know sounds... it's us. I'm, I'm telling that sounds great to me. Okay. I'd love to fuck So before people. we leave, <laughs> what we're going to do, Chalindra, is we're going to go really close to where they reside. And I'm going to send something to fuck with them. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about this plan. Uh, is this, what, what sort of, are we something? You remember that, uh, that fish thing that I made up here? Yeah, it's pretty strong. But, uh, yeah, you're summoning like a... And stuff. You're going to summon that marrow? That. You're going to summon, <laughs> summon the marrow again? Yeah, why not? Oh, right, yes, yeah, that. They won't know it does. We'll be gone. Also, Wait. you'd be some. It didn't do too well on land last time. Kind of just true. flopping around. Wait, we'll be going to an island. That'll be good for it. Yeah, of course. That would be good. Maybe that's where its home is. Oh, yeah, of course, sure. <laughs> the magic Captain, item, uh... when it was identified, uh, when I identified it, wasn't it called Mermaid of the Cauldron Sea? So it's probably from the Cauldron Sea. That's not what, what they. That's not what they call that sea down there. No. <laughs> Do you know where the cauldron sea is? Never heard of it personally. Maybe while we're in GS talk, we could look it up. Is it important? Mm -hmm. Well, I have this statue that's from there, so that maybe. seems like it's cursed. Well, it is cursed. It's making you all, you know, when we're dying. Die faster. Yeah, it makes us die faster. You know, part of me wants to give it up, but a part of me feels like it's. It does say all friendly. It says it says all creatures in the vicinity. Not doesn't specify friendly. Yeah, unless I'm wrong and about my home. There's a lot of other benefits to that come with it, so it makes me a little faster. Uh, makes me in the group, uh, you know, a little bit stronger in our abilities. So. I'll hold on to it until it kills me. Perfect. Which it has already, but I'll talk about that. <laughs> and remember, when it, it kills, kills you, you a second time. Remember, when it kills you, it brings you back as one of those. I wasn't there, but it brings you back as an undead, so. And I can't do my ritual again for a second time. So you'd oh, be shit. gone forever. Oh, that's right. No more Enoch. Uh, it did come while back we're in Dia Stark, if we're going to be there for a day getting supplies and stuff, uh, I might want to maybe visit the library or ask someone about uh, that mask. Do you think it's worth asking really? innocent people about the mask? I don't want innocent people getting thrown yeah, into maybe the not situation. asking. Well, I mean, like, but... the, the, it's, it's, a, it's an item that is known, that a person is known to have. Correct? We can check the library. Don't uh, have to yeah, talk yeah. to people. Yeah. Maybe maybe just be vague about it. Ask the books on masks and then see if there's any illustrations that kind of match the description. That works. All right, yeah, so it sounds more like more details about that might might make it a little easier for us to um I don't know, deal with it. At some point, definitely. All right. I think it's worth doing. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like we're heading to Dia Stock then. Great. Everyone agreed. Yep. We are uh, might be seeing my uh, my old professor. The circles in her in her school. Do you know where? Will we be interrupting anyone? You don't know where. Uh, oh. It was in the uh, sort of performance hall in an adjacent room. So once you'd put on kind right. of like little concerts, there was like a little oh, shoot cool. where you'd bring in the people through the teleportation circle. So if there is a show oh, on, okay. you'll be poof, bamfing into there. Okay. I mean, is it? it's not going to like interrupt a performance, is it? You don't know. It's, okay. It's like, okay. Um, it, there's a possibility, but I mean, it's pretty, it's in, 
if there's a performance, it might be interrupting, but it's, you know, what is it, like 10 a.m.? I doubt yeah, there's a performance. Yeah, it's about 10 a.m. I doubt uh, there's a performance this early. Or it's I don't 8, know what. 8 a.m. Is there a time difference between here and Diastock? No. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, Talindra. Yes. You might have already. I, I forgot if we asked about this, but does Azozan have a uh, circle? I tried to find one. I couldn't. Uh, well, at least as far as Lynn Mac knows, there isn't one. All right. All right. Figured I'd ask before we leave. Yeah, I know. I definitely thought of that. Um, but no, no luck here. Hopefully, if we find some, you know, rather in our travels, we'll find some more so we can get around a bit easier. Um, unfortunately, I think Rosanna's is probably destroyed. That's probably not worth checking out, but. At least we have deer stock. <laughs> the town of wonder. Town of wonder. Please right. open it. It's still there. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. All right. Shall we? Shall we venture forth? Uh, yeah. Let me finish putting on my disguise, if you guys don't mind. Of course. Oh, go ahead. You have one right. minute and thirty seconds. Wait, what? <laughs> That's right, I'm timing you. All right. There. Okay. My disguise is on. <laughs> All right, we head out of the of our uh, our hut. You can cast teleportation circle inside the hut. Can I? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I guess yeah, I'll do that this then. Magic can't pass through it, so you're good. Yeah, and as soon as you, okay. as soon as Tilinder leaves the hut, I believe the hut goes away. That's fine. So um, you take out your chalk, which is currently not does not have five, 50 gold worth of gems in it. But you can easily just shove 50 gold pieces worth of gems into the chalk because you got okay. looted a bunch of gems. And you draw a circle. It takes a minute to draw, and as the circle begins to pulse with like arcane runes and magic. Renorian's like, oh, this is going to be fun. I haven't teleported in so long. And you all teleport and land inside a sort of small room in a what looks like just sort of like a preparation, like dressing room. Just poof, completely empty. No one's in here. All right. There's like Good. vanity mirrors and like little bench seats and like instruments hanging on the walls plush red carpet, uh, red kind of drapes hanging from the ceiling and walls. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, it's good to be back. I forgot how nice it was here. Oh, it's a good thing there's no performance. We got... We're not interrupting anything. All right. This is the kind of early morning-ish hours. People still probably yes. have breakfast. So. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure people are probably in classes and they're getting to classes. But, of course. Um, should we make mm -hmm. ourselves known? Uh, I don't know that there's anyone to make ourselves known to here. Um, right. Do I know, like, wh what would she, be the easiest she, way? She'd probably be at her home right now, so she probably wouldn't be here. The home is a, the home is connected to the school. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking more like, so we're in this sort of rehearsal area. Is there a way to get into, like, the main part of the school from here? Yeah, you like, just open the door. You, you open the door of the room you're in. Oh, and it's just but like also the school, yeah. the school is currently locked up because there are no students currently at the school. Because <laughs> it's not oh, okay. it's not during hours, so the school is basically locked currently from the inside. Oh, okay. So you have to like unlock the doors, leave. Awesome. Okay, I I clearly I'm not as familiar with the schedule here as I thought I was. I mean, it's eight a.m. Um, hmm? It's eight a.m. People are probably sleeping. I well, I didn't think of that. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Yeah, mm, this is something we can get over. All right. Well, all I right. didn't really want to be in contact with anyone anyway, so that's all right. Exactly. Yeah, gravel yeah. unbuckles the metal fastens on his little thing and gets his uh, on his bracer and gets his uh, beef stools out. All right. Oh yeah, we gotta pick the lock to get outside. Yeah, and then I have to lock it again. Yep. Because 
I mean, these places are locked for a reason. It's only courteous. I, I'm gonna like check, like if there's a window. I just want to make sure no one is seeing this. Is seeing us like. It's pretty early in the morning. About the locks. Only, well, no one's gonna be like looking in the windows of inside a building. Really. <laughs> So, I know I'm just being paranoid because I'm like, yeah, yeah. this is like my my turf. <laughs> Anyone got the knock spell? We could just easily rectify this with the knock spell. No, no, hmm? no, all right, that's too that's situational. <laughs> Let's just be quick. <laughs> yeah, all right, here we go. Uh, I guess I'll yeah. try to unlock that first door. Yeah, it's just a simple lock, so. Twenty-nine. <laughs> yep, unlocked. All right, let's go. Yep, and once everybody leaves, they'll lock it again. Okay. Don't need to roll for that. Just yeah, I, I've got the feel of the locks. Yeah. So now you're all standing in the street outside of the academy, the school. There's a oh, big, boy. like, f just kind of garish, ostentatious-looking sign that's totally just too much, and it says just very Madame, yeah, yeah. Madame Rochemay's Music Academy, and it's like flashing. And Honorian's like, that's fucking annoying. That's loud. That's bright. There's people living across the street. It's quite nice. There's people living across the street. They have to keep their curtains closed at night when they're trying to sleep. Oh, but this is art. Art can be pieces of shit too. Well, not here. Well, it's. I would be putting up a stink if I was living across the street. And I had this well, it's a good thing you don't live across the street. Now, anyways. This place is a shithole. <laughs> Shall right. we, uh, what, what, what do we need to do here? We need to get supplies? Uh -huh. Yeah, I need to go to the library, do some research, see if I can't find something about that mask. Right. Uh, I, would I know where a library is? In Diastock? Let me see if there actually is a library in Diastock. It'd be funny if there wasn't. Uh, Diastog. That starts with a D. Helps if I'm in the right area, too. All right, Diastog. Basic goods and services, comfortable lodging, imported rare goods. Uh, what else? There's the Bursar Plaza, which is filled with quaint shops and bistros. There's the inn you all stayed at last time you heard, the Shaded Bow. There's a temple to Bahamut. Give me an investigation check, Talindra. Okay. Or you can just shout at people walking on the street. Uh, investigation is 11. 11. You do not know where a library is. Um, I usually use the books in the school, so I, I'm not as familiar with them. Um... We could have shouted at a passerby. Could do that. Oi! Um, Fuck face. Well, probably not going <laughs> to. Hey, to stop. Library. I kind of give him a dirty look and point south down the street. See, easy. Gets the job done. He probably lied to you. No, he didn't. No. Oh. I'm telling people are lying to me. Oh yeah, well. Uh. I'll, if you guys, if none of you guys need to join me, um... well, I don't think the library is going to do me much good. Why well, you have your eyes back? Mm hmm. Can you not read? I can, but not the language that is a custom from around here. Right. He's practically a poet and giant. Mm hmm. Pretty much. Awesome. I'm going to go see Bertrand. How about that? Me too. No, I'm kidding. You should go visit Annalise. She's the cleric. I think you and her would get along. Nah. She's kind of... Okay. <laughs> I don't like clerics. Maybe. I'll go wherever Vinlock and Talindra go. Uh-huh. Do you need uh, you you need help with uh, your research, Finlock? I mean, if it ends up, if I end up getting like 
12 books on masks, yeah, it might make it quicker to divvy up the... All right, that can the certainly work. help. I mean, also go look for, like, you know, maybe shops that specialize in rare items. And ask yeah. around. I, there, were there, I mean, oh. there might be new ones, but I don't think there were any last time we were here. Uh, I just read uh, what I just read for y'all. Oh, sorry. Uh, some imported rare goods can be sought ah, cool. by those with black market connections. <clears throat> well, so regardless, seen like thieves thieves can't on the somewhere. If you look the around, the park, there's, oh, okay. there's a chance. All right. But regardless, as you all arrive in Dia's stock and prepare making your next steps, Enoch wandering off to Bertrand's. Or Bernard's, whatever the fuck his name was. Bertrand! That's right. where we're going to end the session for the week. Alright. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Our next game is in ten minutes, so be there as they fight some weird amalgamation creatures in a laboratory. Bye! Bye. Bye.